Imagine Canada initiating an invasion of the United States, seizing a significant territory. The occupied region is heavily guarded by tanks, and illegal settlements are being constructed in violation of international law. Tragically, numerous Americans have lost their lives, suffered injuries, and been forcibly displaced from their homes. Responding to this injustice, American citizens united to counterattack the Canadian occupiers even though they didn't have a military, even crossing into Canadian territory to reclaim their land. However, the Prime Minister of Canada labels these opposition groups as terrorists. In an attempt to justify their actions, the Canadian government claims self-defense and resorts to bombing entire areas, knowingly killing thousands of innocent civilians. Can an occupying force legitimately assert self-defense against the very population they have occupied? The answer is a resounding no. This illogical reasoning is the exact justification Israel uses to occupy and kill civilians in Palestine. And this is what the United Nations study states from 2023, even assuming for the purposes of argument that Israel's use of force was a legitimate act of self-defense, Israel is administering the occupied Palestinian territory in breach the principles and rules of international humanitarian law and peremptory norms of international law. Therefore, the conduct of the occupation, in breach of the principles of immediacy, necessity and proportionality, exceeds the reasonable limits of self-defense and amounts to an illegal use of force. Israel cannot claim the right of self-defense uh, against a threat that emanate from the territory it occupies. The United Nations study on Israel's occupation reinforces the need to reject such justifications, urging global attention and action against violations of international law and the denial of the Palestinian people's rights. It's a call for collective awareness and accountability.